Now, in the last moments of her reign, the court presentation of the 15 finalists to Miss Universe of 1962. So, in alphabetical order, the 15 finalists here in evening gowns, beginning with the delegate from Argentina. The delegate from Austria. The delegate from Brazil. The delegate from Colombia. The delegate from Denmark. The delegate from France. The delegate from Germany. Miss Universe is not only a great honor, but carries with it a great responsibility. The girl who wears it travels, meets dignitaries from all parts of the world. The current Miss Universe has traveled to the Orient, to Latin America, to Europe, all over America. And uh, wherever she goes, she represents the high ideal set forth in the Miss Universe creed, which Senorita Norma Beatrice Nolan will now read. We, representing the countries of the world in the Miss Universe Beauty Passion, in order to further the cause of peace, justice and mutual understanding, do solemnly dedicate ourselves ideals of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill among all the people of the universe. Thank you, Norma. Now, are the judges ready with their decision? Okay. Now, at last glance at the 15 finalists, this is the moment of highest excitement for them. Each of these young ladies must be hoping very hard, hoping to win the fame and fortune that go with the title Miss Universe. For all, this has been a week of adventure and thrills. For one, the year ahead will fulfill every dream a young lady could possibly.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the big moment, the decision we've been waiting for. The fourth runner-up for the title of Miss Universe is Kim byung -ja, the delegate from Korea. The third runner-up is Lalane Bennett, the delegate from the Philippines. The second runner-up is Marlene McCune, the delegate from Ireland. Now, the young lady I'm about to name as the first runner-up is the one who would wear the crown if for any reason Miss Universe should be unable to reign for a full year. So, the first runner-up is Heine Korva, the delegate from Denmark. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the last and the most important decision, the new Queen of Beauty, Miss Universe for 1963 is Maria Vargas, the delegate from Brazil. like to get uh, the delegate from Brazil's reaction to this moment. Me sinto muito feliz, mas emocionadíssima por levar para meu país o título de Miss Universo, pois já fazem 33 anos que meu país não tinha o título máximo 
dele universal. Muito obrigada. She said she's very happy to, uh, to be Miss Universe, uh, all my English, <laughs> for her country. It's three years, they have not a big prize in Brazil. You're a beautiful young lady and we congratulate you. She is beautiful indeed. And now you have your first official duty to step down here and meet the gentlemen of the press. If you just step down here. This is the uh, 12th Miss Universe. Predecessors have come from Finland, France, Sweden, uh, Japan, Germany, and three from Latin America, Peru, Colombia, and Argentina. And Arlene? Well, now this is four from Latin America. Yes. Isn't it amazing? Right. Yes, it is. And it's 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 the new Miss Universe is lucky as well as she's lovely. She wins $7,500 in cash and a $10,000 personal appearance contract. In addition to the gold trophy and the gifts of jewelry and host of tour costumes valued at thousands of dollars more. She will travel the world over during her year's reign. She will leave almost immediately on travels that will take her to Japan, to France, Italy, and Belgium in Europe, to Colombia, Argentina, her home country, Brazil, Mexico, and Venezuela in South America. Well, there you are. I must say it's terribly exciting, but uh, John, she's going to be photographed a thousand times tonight. And each picture will be worth at least a thousand words. See, yeah, I think our photo of words has just about run out. And so is the time, Arlene, as this year's Miss Universe pageant comes to a close here in Miami Beach. It's early Sunday morning in Britain, and Londoners are just getting up for breakfast with the Sunday papers. In Japan, it's Sunday afternoon, and you can be sure the portable radios are blaring out in the crowded beaches. And in New Zealand, housewives are probably watching the telly as they prepare Sunday supper. So everywhere all over the world, the news is going out from Miami Beach tonight. And that good news is that beauty still reigns supreme. And that is it. Till next year's exciting Miss Universe beauty pageant. Good night, John, dear boy. Good night, Marlena. Get well. It's been fun. And good night, Arlene. I hope all of you have enjoyed it as much as we have. This is John Daly from Convention Hall in Miami Beach wishing you a very good night. The Miss Universe beauty pageant has been brought to you by Milk Wave Lilt, the new home permanent you mix with milk for curls that start soft and stay lively. Ralph Rennick speaking. of this program were pre-recorded.